everyone, welcome back and thank you so much for watching. For today's video, I'm going to be trying out some new makeup products. I have some Fenty Beauty. I know this is quite late and you guys have probably seen so many reviews, but I'm not really going to go into too much detail about all the products in this line just because I don't want to be too repetitive and bore you guys. So yeah, I'm just going to tell you what I like, what I don't like, and that's pretty much it. And I'm going to be trying out the new Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. I'm super excited about that. So if you guys want to see some new makeup products in action, then just keep watching. All right, so let's get started. I have a lot of good things in front of me that I'm so excited to try out. I think I'm gonna start off with my eyes first, just because whenever I try a new eyeshadow palette, I like to start with my eyes first, in case I have like fallouts and all of that. So today I'm gonna be trying out the new Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. Like, can we just take a look at this packaging? It is beautiful. I absolutely love the packaging. She looks so pretty. And once you open it up, it comes with this little, like, I don't know, this eye thingy. I think it's so cool. You can just go like this. Woo! So pretty. I kind of want to do the eyes that she has on the cover, but we'll see. So once you open it up, this is what the palette looks like. Super gorgeous. It comes with 18 eyeshadows, 8 mattes, 6 pressed pearls, 3 dual chrome toppers, and 1 glitter. So I didn't get to try the first palette that she came out with, so I don't really know how her eyeshadows are. But yeah, I'm just super excited to try this. I'm just going to quickly prime my eyes and then get started with the eyeshadow. I'm going to start off with desert sand right over here. There's just a little bit of kickback. I'm going to put this all over my lid to set that primer. Next, I'm going to go into Eden right over here. This is like a nice peachy shade. And I'm going to put that into my crease with my Sigma E40 blending brush. Oh, I like this. This is a nice transition shade. And it's blending out really well so far. Next, I'm going to go into blazing right over here. This is like a rusty orange. So I'm just going to add this right into the crease. And I'm using my Sigma E25, no, E35 blending brush. These shadows are blending in very, very nicely, very smoothly, so... I am liking this a lot so far. Next, I'm going to take Saffron right over here. And this is more of a burgundy shade. And I'm just going to add this right here. The outer V first. And then kind of just pull it into the crease. And I like that you can build up these shades. Which I prefer more than having an eyeshadow palette where as soon as you dip you get a lot of color payoff which yeah it's good but then it's hard to blend out when you're trying to blend out your shadows so it's good when you have eyeshadows that you can build up i'm gonna go into that same um blending brush that we used first and i'm gonna go into blazing which was that burnt orange and i'm going to dust it a little bit above um, that burgundy for the lid today I'm gonna take blood moon it's a really pretty copper and I'm gonna just pop this onto my lid whoa that's pretty I don't know if this is one of the toppers I'm not too sure but this is really nice I'm also gonna just try with my fingers so let's take a little bit on my finger Let's see. Oh, that's nice. I think I'm getting a little bit more when I'm using my fingers. So that's what I'm going to do. I think you're supposed to use your fingers. I know her first palette, she said that it's meant to be used with your fingers. Um, I don't know about this one, but I think you're supposed to use your fingers for this as well. I like it when I use my fingers. You don't have to use your fingers. You can use a brush. You can wet it and then 
um, go into the shadow but I don't mind using my fingers it just gives you a lot more payoff I like it all right so I'm gonna dip back into saffron that cranberry burgundy shade and I'm just gonna deepen the outer corner Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Turkish Delight right over here and just pop this right in the center. Ooh, that looks pretty. I'm going to go into Blazing again, which is that orange shade. I'm just going to run it over here. I'm going to go into this shade right here. I don't know how to pronounce this. I think it's Oud or old, something like that. It's a dark brown, and I'm just going to deepen up this look a little bit. So I'm just gonna add this right here. I'm not adding too much, I just want to darken it up just a tiny bit, and I also wanna see how this dark brown is, so yeah. Just a tiny bit is good. All right, so now that we have that, let's move on to the lower lash line. I'm going to start off with Blazing, which is that rusty orange. And I'm just going to add that with a pencil brush. Now, as for fallouts, yes, there are some, but it's not too bad, actually. I like it. Um, then I'm just going to take Saffron, which was that burgundy. And I'm going to run it right under as well. I'm just connecting everything to the end. I just almost poked myself in the eye. I kind of want to see how this purple would look underneath the lash line. So I'm going to take this shade. It's called Amethyst. Ooh, that's actually super pretty. Wow. Deepens up this look, adding a hint of purple. I'm going to add a little bit to the crease also so i'm taking the sigma e25 i'm gonna add it to the crease remember the first color that i used on my lid blood moon which was like that bronzy shade yeah i think i kind of you can totally skip that. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna just quickly do a winged liner, pop on some lashes, and I will be right back. Okay, now for my inner corner highlight, I am gonna take, I think it's called Neferetti, and I'm just gonna pop this on to the inner corner. Hmm, not getting much. I think this is one of the toppers. So I think I have to use something underneath for it to really pop, I believe. But yeah, I'm not really getting much. I'm also going to try this shade right here. This is Angelic. It's like a baby pink rose gold shade. I think this is one of the toppers as well. So it's not really coming off as pigmented or as bright as I thought it would. And to finish up the look, I'm just going to add this pixie eyeliner. Alright, so that's it for the eyes. Now we're going to move on to the face. I have a lot of Fenty Beauty products in front of me um that i am super excited to try out i'm not going to go into too much details with these products because i don't want to bore you guys and i don't want to be too repetitive i know you guys have seen so many videos out there talking about this whole line i'll just let you guys know how i like it that's all so i'm gonna start off with the primer and i'm just going to put this all over my face Let's just dot it on. Okay. So this is more of like a moisturizer. It's not a silicone type primer. 
I thought it was. Next, moving on to foundation, I have two shades in front of me. I have 240 and 290. I did pick them up online, so I'm not too sure which one's gonna match me, but hopefully one of them does. Um, I'm gonna try 290 first. Let's see. It's a little too light. It's too yellow. It's too light, I think. But I'm just going to blend it out and see how this works. Also, I'm going to take the brush that she came out with. This is the full body foundation brush. So on this side, I'm going to try with the brush, and then I'll do the other side with my beauty blender. So let's see. Yeah. This shade is real yellow and kind of light. But I also heard that this foundation oxidizes, so hopefully it's not too bad. Okay, this dries really quickly, by the way, so I need to work quickly. So I think I could go up to like the shade, because I was debating um, between the 290 and the 310 so I think I'm gonna be going with the 310 it's clinging on to my dry patches a little bit um, so that's one thing but what I'm gonna do is I always use my first Ollie rose gold elixir oil but I forgot to do that on this side so I'm gonna do it on this side and then go in with the beauty blender and see but I always add this oil because I just find that my foundation goes on a lot smoother and more flawless with this. So I'm just going to add it to one side and see if it makes a difference. All right, now I'm just going to try. I'm adding two more pumps to this side of my face. And I know I have to work quick with this foundation because it dries quick. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like this foundation is not as full coverage as I thought it would be. I thought this would be super full coverage, but I can still see my blemishes like here and especially on my forehead. Um, but I do really like the finish of this foundation. It feels super lightweight, first of all. and it looks kind of like your skin um it doesn't look cakey i already kind of know that i don't like the primer because it didn't really do much it didn't really hydrate that much and it didn't fill in my pores because i can really see my pores peeking through right here so yeah all right so that's the foundation done moving on to contouring so i have this contouring uh, trio. This one is a medium. Comes with under eye highlight, contour, and a shimmer highlight. So yeah, and these are magnetic, which you guys already probably know. So I really like the packaging. I am gonna try bamboo for my under eye. I don't think I'm gonna like this because it is a matte stick and I usually stay away from those because it can really make my under eye super dry but i'm gonna give it a go oh yeah this is a little too drying so i'm not gonna go with this i'm gonna use my concealer for contour i'm gonna use mocha which came in that trio and i'm just gonna this might be a little too light but i have another shade so i will use that yeah, I think this is just a little too light. I like my contour to be a little bit darker. I think especially today because my foundation is a little too light. Ooh, this blends very nice. Yeah, 
This blends really, really nice. But I just need a darker shade. Okay, so yeah, that's not dark enough. I'm gonna use this one here. This is in the shade Truffle. So this is Truffle and this is Mocha. Yeah, big difference, right? Oh yeah, I like this one. Oh, by the way, this is a Sonia Kashuk brush. It has, this, this side is crazy, but I love the uh, dual fiber side. Hmm, see how nicely this blended out? All right, let's contour the nose now. And the lip. So my battery just died. Um, I hope this didn't dry out. I think we're fine. This just makes your lips look bigger. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm just gonna set the contour with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. All right, so next we are going to highlight. I think that's the most exciting part. Uh, the two highlighters that I picked up are Trophy Wife, of course, and the Kilowatt highlight, and this one is in Mean Money and Hustler Baby. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna just take my fan brush and highlight. Whoa, this is nice. I can definitely see my deeper skin girls loving this highlight because this is just like the perfect golden highlight for you guys. But it's not a highlight that I would be able to wear on a day-to-day -day basis, so that's the only thing, but it is super pretty. So if you have deeper skin tone, this is probably like your everyday golden highlighter. You know what I mean? I really want to try this out as an eyeshadow. I think this would be super pretty as an eyeshadow. And I don't have anything like this in my collection. So this is super unique, super pretty. It's just not something that I would be able to wear on an everyday basis. But if I want to do something different one day for highlight, I would definitely reach for this. On top of this, I'm also going to try Me, Money, and Hustler Baby, the duo highlighter. I had to put the brightness down so you guys can kind of see what the highlight looks like. I'm going to go into Hustler Baby because that one looks a lot brighter. I'm just going to put this on top of this. Even though I can't really tell how this one is. I can't really tell. <laughs> how this one is because I have so much trophy wipe but I'm gonna put it here and see oh yeah that's pretty so I'm gonna add a little bit of Hustler Baby on my nose to highlight okay so that completes this look now let's do a quick rundown of the products things that I love and things that I will probably pass on. So first is definitely the eyeshadow palette. I think this is a super stunning palette. I love the look that I came out with. You have a lot of pretty shades to work with. I am super excited to use this glitter next time and I just love the entire palette. You have a lot of different shades that you can work with. Also this purple in the shade called Amethyst, I thought this would be more of like those super super bright purples if you know what I mean but it was not actually. It was really nice to work with. It deepened up this look and kind of gave it like that purple hue. I definitely recommend you guys checking this out. I think it's a super pretty palette. Now moving on to Fenty Beauty products. As you saw, I used a lot of Fenty Beauty products for my face. Um, so let's start off with the primer. It didn't really do much for my skin, to be honest. It is a pro filter primer, like it mentions, but it didn't really blur out my pores or fill in my pores or anything like that. I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but it is a 
Pro Filter Primer. So I'm guessing it's supposed to do something as far as your pores and texture and all of that. I don't have a lot of texture on my face, but I do have some open pores right here on my cheeks, which I can still see peeking through. So yeah, the primer didn't really do much. Honestly, nothing at all for my skin. Now, for the foundation, I picked up the shade 290. Now, when I first swatched it on my face, it looked super yellow and quite light. But now that everything is fully set, I feel like this is a really good shade for me. Maybe I can go up one more shade, but I think it's working for me. Like after I did the contour and blush and all of that, it just kind of settled into my skin. So I think I'm okay with this shade. Now, as far as the foundation goes, I really, really like the foundation. It is super lightweight, which I love. It doesn't look cakey or feel heavy. However, it did cling on to my dry patch right over here. But on this side of my face, the foundation looks really pretty, really flawless. It didn't cling on to any dry patches or anything like that. For that, I'm gonna have to give credits to my Fursali Rose Gold Elixir Oil. On this side, I didn't use the oil because I just forgot, but on this side I did, and I found that it just went on a lot smoother on this side. It didn't cling on to my dry patches. On this side, I didn't use the oil and I used it with the brush as well but I don't think it's the brush I think it's just because I wasn't hydrated enough um, so that's why I feel like the primer really didn't hydrate my face either so yeah so I really think that I can work with this foundation as long as I have a nice hydrating base going on because this is a matte foundation it is a soft matte foundation but I do have some dry areas on my face so as long as I um, have a nice hydrating base underneath this foundation will look flawless it does already especially on this side I'm gonna give it a try again tomorrow and let you guys know maybe in another video how I'm liking this foundation after I give it another try um, but the brush is really nice also I really do like the brush I like the way it applied my foundation on this side I really do like it. I think it's a really nice brush. At first, I thought it would be really, really stiff because it is actually quite stiff. But I don't know, it just really applied it nicely. It just, it wasn't streaky or anything like that. It applied really quickly and really nicely. So I do like the brush. Do you need it? For me, it's not something that I need to have because I would probably just use my sponge anyways. I love using my sponge or beauty blender for applying foundations so yeah but it is a really nice brush if you want to try it out the contour stick i love the contour stick now this is in the shade truffle the other one didn't work out for me but the shade truffle i think it's just perfect for my skin tone i love how it applied and blended out it was super easy to blend out you didn't really have to do much and I really like it. I love the shade. I love the blendability. I will definitely use for sure. Now, like I mentioned earlier, Trophy Wife is beautiful. It is stunning and it's just super unique. I don't have anything like this in my collection. However, it's not something that I will be wearing every day. You know what I mean? It's just really bright on my skin tone and it's just really really you know that yellow gold which is nice which is really pretty but I'm just saying that it's not something that I would wear on an everyday basis if I ever want to have like a super golden highlight then I got this the other highlighter is Mean Money and Hustler Baby I really like this it is super pretty Hustler Baby is that really pretty rose champagne highlighter and Mean Money, which is on this side, this is really subtle. It's not something that I would use for my cheekbone highlighter. Because if I'm going to wear a highlighter, I want it to pop. You know, I don't want any subtle highlighter. But Mean Money is super pretty for underneath the brow bone, which I use today. It's not super bright, but there is something there. Other than that, Hustler Baby is really, really pretty on the cheeks. So I really like this as well. And what else? Oh, the gloss. The gloss is super pretty. Like, come on. 
this is like the perfect everyday gloss and I think it's really really pretty and it does say it's universal which is true I think it's gonna work for any skin tone it just makes your lips look really plump and full and I love it but yeah most of the things worked out for me so that is awesome and I really hope you guys like this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I would love to have you here and I will see you all in the next one Mwah.